Chelsea. Just got off at Chelsea on the Rockport Newbury line. That was train 147 bound for Newbury Port with a GP40 MC Classic. Here we are at a beautiful new station just northeast of downtown on the Rockport Newbury Port line of MBTA. This station is really palatial looking compared to what used to be here. Low platform affair with just a few trains stopping here. This was largely an industrial area years ago. But now you have lots of trains stopping here. Off-peak service is roughly every half hour each way. And out of North Station, you have classic diesel power. You don't have that much in the way of those HSP 46 things. Mostly F40 PH-3Cs and GP40 MCs. We'll spend some extra time here deservedly. Another plus is the area has a lot of railroad crossings and they sound their horns here. Hallelujah. There are five crossings in the area that they blow their horns for. To the west you have 3rd Street nearest to us then 2nd Street. And here you have Everett Avenue following a Spruce Street and then Arlington Avenue. Approaching at 1046 is train 107 bound for Rockport with a nice beautiful F40 PH-3C on the point. No mistaking those LED lights. Now that's a thing of beauty, baby. Those locomotives are, in my opinion, if you compare the Santa Fe Warbiner with the Kansas City Southern Southern Bell scheme, that paint scheme on those engines is right up there. Somehow it just doesn't look the same on an HSP 46. Approaching at 1053 is a train that originated out of Beverly. Train 108 from Rockport is delayed due to signal problems at Beverly. This is a makeup train.
GP40MC, former Canadian National GP40-2LW. Gotta love it here. On this train and the last train with the F40, you'll notice there was an MBB built car painted in a special commemorative paint scheme to celebrate the opening of the Fall River and New Bedford service later this year. Now looking at this train board, you can tell that things aren't quite normal here. The 1013 and the 1043 for Boston haven't shown up yet, and it's 5 after 11. They're victims of signal problems at Beverly. Here's the delayed 108 from Rockport. rather than the rule. the horns on those cab cars. Yeah, the HSP 46s are built by Motor Power Industries, but they primarily have General Electric parts inside of them, so they have three strikes already. We're running late, 1120 is train 150 from Newburyport to Boston. These north side lines still use the single level cab cars. It's pretty neat to be at this station because a lot of the T commuter lines have silent zones for most of their crossings. Well, here's 
is train 149 for Newburyport with one of those engines. But you've got a chance to hear it's K5LA and they're pretty loud. admit their K5 LA's are awesome. We are in the west end of the station in Chelsea. This is the third street crossing. Gate should be going down shortly for train 109. Boston to Rockport. That's on the Gloucester branch. He enters that branch at Beverly. Classic GP40MC with an unrestricted K5LA. I mean, how could a guy like me not love this place? Well, here's a manhole cover that might uh, be desired by some collector, but I think it would be a little too heavy to pick up. I'll tell you, I throw compliments out about the HSP46s like I throw these things. That's train 152 from Newburyport to Boston. Hey, those cab car horns sound pretty good too. Some kind of K3, K3LA maybe. This line that goes to Newburyport, that was the old Boston and Maine, Eastern Maine line to Portland via Portsmouth, New Hampshire. Bi-level bi -level cab car on the point. Six. Here comes a late 152. Rockport to Boston. This is uh, one of the last of the trains that were delayed by the signal malfunction around Beverly. The problem has been solved.
historic structures still standing here in Chelsea. Used to be a lot more. Still kind of a gritty industrial town, but part of it's gentrified with uh, apartments and nice hotel chains. now we're at an interesting spot. This is Education Street. The end of Education Street is right here along the North Road out of North Station. Nearby is Science Park where you can see dinosaurs, but you can see a lot of different kind of dinosaurs here. Everything going in and out of North Station passes by here. This is a coveted rail fan destination in Boston. Well, the tracks nearest to me head out towards Littleton and Wachusett. The tracks next to that head up to Lowell, and the tracks after that head up to Reading, Haverhill, Newburyport, Rockport. Well, here comes a train arriving from Haverhill at 2.05. need engine in the back from Beverly is just pulling out. It's got an engine just like this only in the purple and gray. Twenty-one bound for Lowell. Man, those engines look fabulous in that paint scheme. Number ten twenty-eight, rebuilt F forty PH dash three C.
train 211 bound for Haverhill. Both of those trains depart North Station at 210. Like a yard move heading over to Somerville. All right, 232, here comes train 419 bound for Wachusett on the Fitchburg line. That's the old Boston and Maine main line to Mechanicville, New York from Portland and Boston. This is where it's at, folks, the north side. Coming in, he's a little bit late at 2.38. Amtrak 684, the Down Easter. He's coming from at least Portland, Maine. He's got one of those F40 cabbages on the point. No power pack, no traction motors, just stores luggage. Train 292 coming down from Reading at 244. You can't win them all, folks. Where's the barf bag? All right, at 2.55, we have 3.22 coming in from Lowell on the left, and 1.14 coming in from Rockport on the right. Nice little drag race here. Should have 4.18 from Wachusett coming soon, too. Look at this. Ah, here comes 418 from Wachusett. I can see his headlight reflecting off of 322. When it rains, it pours.
114 was obscured by 322, but that was him heading into the station. Now 418 should be getting the signal. There goes 418 heading into the station. the Scepter Silverliner 4's got competition but I got to give the edge to these things because they have great horns can't say the same about the Scepter competition however I don't know I just don't like the looks of them they, they kind of remind me of that kid that you, you know you've all probably had one kid that goes to school with you he weighs about 200 pounds one and one is three and he eats ring things like crazy you know they just don't look distinguished well, we move closer to the North Station. We're right by the Charles River. You're looking at the old Boston and Maine Railroad Signal Tower A. That's what this interlocking is called, at the North Throat of North Station. All right, here's 113 departing for Rockport at 306, going over the drawbridge over the Charles River. They occasionally lift this for boat traffic. This is a popular spot where the duck boats hit the water and come out of the water. Watch the duck boat hit the drink. This one is for you, Ian, going in the drink. Do that one of these things. All right, 312. This is train 323 departing for Lowell, going over the drawbridge. The honking you hear in the background of the duck boats hitting the drink.
a pedestrian footbridge that goes over the tracks right by Tower A. And you get this stunning view of the Charles River in the back bay section. You can also see a Green Line train crossing the bridge there. Here comes a duck boat that's ready to come out of the river and become a land lover. I remember when the Boston Red Sox won the World Series in 2004, their victory parade was on duck boats. They went on the streets and in the river, oh, it was something else. Something else. Three twenty-five. Here comes one fifty-six in from Newburyport. Got a GP forty MC shoving. Massachusetts just departed North Station. It's the first of three trains that'll leave in the next 10 minutes. We'll get all of them. vantage point. You can hear those duck boats there going by like streetcars. All right, 338, there goes 155 bound for Newburyport with the mass dot blue GP40 MC 1125. Got 114 coming in from Haverhill also. and certainly the leastest <laughs> at 341 we got a Haverhill bound train to party
thing you can see that the north side is the place to be if you want to get away from those things. Better a fraction than an engulfment. Well, train activity is kind of diminished a bit. Enough for them to put the drawbridge up. You saw the gates go down. Let's watch the bridge go up. definitely give priority to the trains though. Whenever there's a lull in traffic, and there aren't many, they try to squeeze some boat traffic through. Just for that little boat they did all that, all that fanfare and sirens, and the bridge is going down. two track span at a time evidently all right now the other one and then the gates will go up clear for more trains but we shall depart